section right before the verse comes in that's brilliant it's amazing I, that's just a great great section I don't know what you're talking about do the thing right before he starts singing super fast oh, oh before, the, super before the verse yeah. 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 There's, there's a famous classical violin piece called Flight of the Bumblebee which is you know like two minutes long and like has more notes than anything ever played <laughs> So what's your 49? Yes. Okay, now, question for you. Mm -hmm. if that fill, mm -hmm. the fill at the end of the second bar, it creatively it's the same fill. Yes. Okay. All right. Put the fill in, and then we'll just have to see if there are any air cuts in there. Stop. That, mm -hmm. that fill, or the best version of that fill mm -hmm. should replace the skippy thing in chorus two. That fill has it, the the reason I'm saying that is it's played probably over the takes six, eight, ten times. Okay. So what's more? So that's basically what that is. It's a half. It's a half length snare fill that lands on the and. Okay. So it doesn't land on the downbeat. Yeah, and we talked about that. That's not a great part for me either in that song. I, I think that part's great too. I just don't know if that's the best place for it in the song. I think it maybe could be something else in the song that might serve it better. Where? I don't know. What makes it so cool is the fact that it sits away from the guitar solo. But maybe that's just my own. Yeah, that's why we had edited a version where it was part of the solo. Because to me, it does. It sounds like a send off after a, the end of a solo. Play it out from there? Sure. I'm cruising, man. I'm like, yeah, cool, yeah, I can do this all day, cool. Whoa, man, you're crazy. No, I don't no, want to rock it, man. I don't want to play no. Man, I don't want to rock.
jugular, man. Cool. I mean, that's well oiled right there. Well oiled and greasy. We are in um, much better shape than we were three weeks ago when we played this last. I think the overall one is much better shape. I personally have lost about four pounds. I think that should be um, big cords on each side. Wow! Wow! The verse? What's I, the like, I like this going along with the hi hat. What's the emphasis to you? What's the main guitar bar? The vocal. You want to come in with the lyric sheet and we'll go through everything? All right there. Yeah, none of these verses were a little. Like, where do you breathe? Where do you breathe? That's as good. Nope. I don't think it flows as good. I think that's either one flows better. What's to come and what's to be. Okay. You like it better, Jumpy, with the extra stuff? I don't know. It, the other one seems a lot like like it's with the music's too much. You know? Yeah. Still you run, what's to come, what's to be. Still you run, what is to come, what is to be. So, the first thing I could do is I could just do some warm up vocally and see where I'm at. Yeah, let's do that. I would call the song Hunt You Down Without Mercy. Hunt You Down Without Mercy! Hunt You Down All Nightmare Long? And those are, that's classic stuff. Yeah! All Nightmare Long! On that note, I'll say that my title is All Nightmare Long. That's what I, I was thinking too. I think that's all Nightmare just Long. so great. Mm -hmm. That's um, what I was thinking. And it's such a clever twist on yeah. All Night Long, yeah, All a, Nightmare Long. It's a great line. That's a great line. That's a great line. <laughs> Talk about emphasizing the open E instead of the high note. That's one thing. I don't know what we could do to do that, but and then on the chord. Yeah. But he goes. He's pretty tight on that. And it's like there's no low E on those chords. Right. And I think that has a cool push and pull thing. And I was, I know he was doing. One, I think a single note sounds pretty good on that. Okay. 